Hello and welcome to this OrthoMill 2016 new features guide and I'm going to be going through the changes made to workpiece definitions. So I'll access it the same way as normal tools, workpiece definitions and now I've got my menu. And you may notice immediately these three new tabs. I've got positioning, manual positioning and supports and I'll go through each one of these in turn. These are available when either editing an existing workpiece or when creating a new one, which I'll do now. So you can fill in all the information in the tabs which you already know. And then when you get to the positioning, this allows you to set some of the default parameters for your job. So traditionally, the part was always positioned in the center of the workpiece by default. However, now you can select to have the default at the top or at the bottom, or a set distance from the top or the bottom, etc. Now take note that these are only the defaults and you can still change these for each part that you make. In this part positioning options section you can set the maximum tool radius that you can use, so the white boundary that appears around your part, and also the layout border, so the boundary around each part, dictating how far away each part can be from another one, or from the edge of the workpiece. And then also switch between a vertical or horizontal orientation. In the manual positioning tab, this is more for if you're working with a small block, so you can only fit a single pair of insoles. You can select to set their position on the block as the same each time, and then add your own positions and change the X and Y coordinates to set them. So each time you use the workpiece, the part with a matching ID will be positioned in the X and Y coordinate. And the origin for this is always at the center of the workpiece. So no matter where you may have set the axis origin of the entire model, perhaps it's in the corner of your workpiece, the manual positioning in this tab will always be done around the workpiece center. And you can set the rotation that they have as well, so again, vertical or horizontal. Now the support section allows you to set the default tabs or support strip options. So you can switch between which one is used, set the number of tabs, the size of them, the thickness of the support strip, etc. And you can also, if you're creating positives or an AFO, set the number of tabs to zero and this will by default allow you to just machine the part itself. But make sure if you do want the number of tabs to be zero that you set the machining support option back to tabs rather than support strip as this will make sure that the default option is the number of tabs that you've input. And then once you're done, accept everything in the standard way and this will allow you much more control over your processes and mean there are fewer things to manually edit each time you create a job. Okay, thank you for watching this OrthoMill guide. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you again soon.